Hey guys, Steven and Amy here. Today we're going to talk about a new drop leg retention holster we've made. Uh, and I just want to point out that Amy is wearing girl clothes today and she is in hey. fact a woman. You even have uh, earrings. Yep, so she is a, she's a tactic gal, but <laughs> she also wears girl clothes sometimes. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but first, before we talk about the rig, Smoke wagon, son. <laughs> hey. you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. I'm also ready. Three, two, one. Okay guys, so now we're going to talk about the rig. I hope you enjoyed our, uh, our little uh, theatrics. We're working on it. We're trying to, to get better. My Hollywood, mouth. we're coming. Uh, what's that? My mouth. My mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, got, we patched Miss Amy up. No, no girls were harmed uh, during the making of this video. Okay, so this rig, you can come on in cameraman if you want. This rig is a retention holster. It's got a rotating hood, a spring-loaded rotating hood kit on it um, and it is for a Ruger Old Army black powder revolver single action revolver it's got adjustable retention right here so they can tighten or loosen it and see it's got a nice click right into place and a rotating hood super simple to put on and take off you've got a couple of adjustable buckles here this is a blade tech uh, drop leg kit and a buckle here and there it's off so there's the rig Got a cool Protec Custom Gear logo laser engraved on there. That's at five extra horsepower. There's the rotating hood, and there's the rig. Notice it covers the muzzle, so if he sits down, if the if the if the customer sits down, whatever, that's going to round over the muzzle, protect the crown of the barrel, which is very important. Um, we've also got it got the Kydex high enough to where it'll protect protect the the rear sight and what have you uh, from from being touched very much, and then the trigger guard's covered. Um, and then this is bolted. This is bolted to the uh, to the the blade tech uh, drop leg mount with like 15 screws and, and T nuts, and they're all Loctited in place. And then everything's eyeleted in, and then it's also serialized down here with the gun make and model and serial number of the of the uh, of the holster itself. And uh, so what he'll do is he'll clip. Hold that, please. Vanna, look at that. Isn't she doing a good job? Right there. Okay. Um, so what he'll do is he'll take this clip. We went ahead and, and we deleted the uh, the little Velcro strap that goes up over the belt and put a Molly lock on it instead. These Molly locks are super nice and a little bit more professional. And uh, what we'll do is he'll clip that onto his belt and then take this. Thank you, ma'am. And clip it onto that. So now the weight is supported, and then he can at his leisure. Clip it onto his leg. So in about 10 seconds, he can have his gun on his rig. Another nice thing about these is, you know, if you're wearing a plate carrier, vest, whatever, um, you know, you can put your gun down beneath the bottom of the vest. Also, you can still carry your inside the waistband holster too. Uh, so I've actually got a couple guns on. I got my open carry gun for Wild West shootout or a, um, a Wyatt Earp walk on to a to a riot here in in the u.s whatever whatever i would want to use it for or cowboy action shooting like a modern cowboy action rig um <laughs> can you think of anything else um, so baby dinosaurs maybe baby dinosaur yeah. uh slaying <laughs> yes and of course we can make these for for anything so if you got your glock 34 with your tlr1 on it and you've got a you know trigicon uh, SRO or, or whatever you got uh, on there uh, we can make make these rigs for that too and we can mount them up here on your belt like the TAC Comp Kybrid HD or we can do a drop leg rig uh, we'll probably end up adding this uh, to to the to the website as well uh, mm -hmm. for a drop leg offering you probably got some serious paintballers too yeah so 
these rigs these rigs will probably run I mean the hard the hardware alone is almost 50 bucks just for just for this kit and this kit plus making it plus our time um, plus the plus our materials our additional materials so these rigs are probably going to run 250 300 bucks um, but it's a tried and true you know very robust setup this is 093 thousands thick kydex 100 the strongest grade of kydex on the market um, and these rotating hood kits are, are super robust and blade tech's been along for around for a really long time they got good drop leg kits and there are other companies out there too if, if the customer wanted to wanted to request a specific drop leg rig we could do that for them too like i want to mount it to uh, safari land blah 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 we could do that for them um that's about it any last words miss amy thanks for missing my my bone structure yeah, yeah. you're welcome i'll try harder next time <laughs> anyways guys stay safe and we'll see you next time